in most recent years it has been shown that even though people believed for a long time that saturated fats are harmful or are detrimental to human health, more and more research are now showing that saturated fat is not to be blamed. What should be blamed is the increased level of carbohydrates or sugars in our diet. And when I proposed these results of this area about 10 years back, it was shunned upon. I did not give up and because I believed strongly in it and I kept on going and this Michael Smith Health Research Foundation scholarship that I received gives me the recognition and also gives me the assurance that whatever I'm doing is towards the right direction and that I'm really thankful to the organization for giving me such an award. There is always this whole uh, emphasis on low-fat diet now, low-fat diet automatically means a high-carb diet because there are only few ingredients that gives energy. So if somebody is taking low-fat diet, that means it's a high-carb diet. Now, even though that is in the clinical guidelines still today, and we have to remember that clinical guidelines have been developed over the last 10 years, it does not reflect what is the current scientific thought. So. I predict in the next 10 years the clinical guidelines to make a complete U-turn and promote low-carb diets and which automatically means a high-fat diet. One of the ways how we are increasing saturated fats in the diet is by utilizing dairy products like butter, whole milk, etc. Fixing either exercise or diet will not give a comprehensive solution for the normal individual or the average individual with diabetes. So that is why I think if somebody or some lab has to approach these clinical problem, they have to approach it with a symbiotic solution encompassing both diet and exercise. To understand diet and dietary factors, somebody has to be conversant with nutrition, biochemistry, metabolism, and those areas. And exercise, on the other hand, needs the understanding of human kinetics, physiology, and metabolism also. Now, my training has been in the area of pharmacy for my undergraduate and graduate studies. And pharmacy, as you can imagine, deals with medications. And for medications, you need a knowledge of the whole physiology, the whole body and also nutrition because medication and diet goes hand in hand. So I have the proper background to study these two fields which are quite different in conjunction. Most labs in Canada or anywhere in the world, they deal with the problem of diabetes either through exercise studies or through diet studies. Our lab, I think, is the only research lab in Canada where we address both the issues at the same time and try to find a symbiotic solution between diet and exercise to combat heart disease and diabetes. In the last probably 10 or 20 years has the treatment options of diabetes improved so much that people with diabetes are actually living longer. So the problem of diabetes research exercise, especially in the elderly, is becoming more and more apparent and UBC Okanagan is at the forefront of it.